So welcome back to the channel. We are going to have a look at the motor on this thing. Let's roll it. While I've been away, let's see what's been done in here. So you can see that custom made DMOP gauge pot up the top there. Uh, Paul's got that put in. The roof section has been put in. Marvellous job. You can see all the little screws there. That worked out really nicely. like how he's done that. And that's a really tricky piece to put in because you've got to, um, you've got to angle it and uh, you know go from there. So the next thing is obviously the flap inside the, um, the gasket, which is this guy here. That needs to be put in and then we can put cover that up get that done. It looks like the horn button uh, cable is there, ready to rock. Uh, let's see what else. All the wiring, you can see down here the wiring's been done, most of it. And the most exciting part is back here. Because as we all saw, the motor is in. Check this beast out, look at it. <laughs> wow. Now, it's still in the running stage, so we've still got to do the 2,500 to 3,000 RPM cam running because it's got a brand new cam in it. So I think Paul said he's a couple of cycles, but we've still got a couple more cycles to go, hence the, the dual meter and all that jazz over there. But, yeah, she's, uh, she's in. Now, there was a little bit of modifying Paul had to do behind the back uh, of the motor, the that sort of rear... Um, section where the the rubber goes around that had to be cut bigger because this is a bigger motor than the stock 36 it didn't fit so you had to do a little bit of chopping um, back there and um, you can't really see it though unfortunately but uh, that is done so a couple more heat cycles uh, this exhaust is pretty loud and um, while we're doing the, the running procedure uh, we just slip on that one on top of it just to make it not, not so loud yeah she's looking really cool i like this little trick he's put the little air breather up on top of that so we will uh fire this up so you guys can have a listen all right so we're gonna uh we're gonna start this beast up scooby i don't know you might want to be putting some earmuffs on mate because uh this is going to be pretty loud all right no, you're just going that way. Bunnies, go and get the bunnies. There's plenty of food out there for you. Off you go. Wiggle that bottom. Uh, right out. we're gonna start this up. So just accelerator or not? Just turn it. Okay, here we go.
first started it, right? Yep. First time, it was running lean. I didn't haven't set anything. You could tell it was running lean because this high, this bank is running hotter than that bank. Ah. So I went back and synchronised the carbies, yep. and I still think this side's running a little bit leaner than this. So I have to once the cams run in. I just got to keep pumping it, keep it as rich as I can while we run the cam in. Yeah, yeah. And I'll just do it in short steps so it doesn't get too hot. And then I'll, I'll try and find out what's going on, why this one's running leaner. It's probably got something to do with the linkage setup in terms of that one's opening uh, up more than this more one than that one at yeah, a different yeah. time. Yeah, so, exactly. Or the that, idle mixtures are completely. And low. is this that's why hot, that's hot. that color? Yeah, that's a ceramic coat. It uh, it started burning, which is ah. you know means it's way too hot. Yeah. And okay. I just saw it and thought, whoa! So I backed off straight away. Yeah. And then dropped it. And then tried to change the linkage, but that that was done in twenty seconds. Wow, no yeah. joke. No, no. So if 20th. you keep running it, if you keep running it lean, you f***ing kill your engine real quick. Yeah, right. Yeah. So I richened it up, and it's, it's not doing it now. Yeah. By changing linkage, but I still think it's a little bit leaner because when I come back after it's cooled off, and I put my hands on the heads, that one easy to touch, and this one's still probably sixty degrees or fifty degrees. Right. Okay. So at okay. the moment she's warm, you can feel it's warm. So in order. To change the the, ri the richness on that on that car, be it's that I've got it's got to open up a bit more than that one. Right. So that one's opening up more than this one, I think, at this stage. But I'll have to do it after I've run the cam, and I can set the idle mixtures with these little suckers. Yeah, I was going to say that, that's that the first, ones on the side. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. And then go back and find the main tune. Yeah. Because the main tune circuit doesn't come until later. See how it runs with the when I've adjusted yeah, that. Yeah. And if it's still running out funny, I'm gonna to have to change the linkage setup so one right. starts a bit earlier or take it to someone with the machine and work out what's going on. Yep. Yeah. No Before I cook the engine. No leaks? Leaks? No leaks. No leaks. That's no good. gearbox leaks. No oh. oil leaks. Oh good, so the gearbox yeah, did seal up. The yeah, so, so after I've got the loop that the, for the yeah, oil you at can the see moment. That there. Yeah. yeah. Bypassing the filter and the cooler. For the first twenty minutes, dump the oil, change the oil, hook up all the gear. I took the plugs out to wind up to get the pressure, oil pressure and yep. carbies full yep. without the plugs in. And that's your and the wiring, uh, what's that called again? The, the, um, it's the regulator. The Jenny. regulator, that's yeah. right, because this is a generator. Old Jenny one. Yeah. It's an old Jenny, yeah. 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 Cool. So nothing too much. The fuel lines will probably change. I blocked off the vacuum to the brake assembly because ah. I thought that's why it was running lean. Maybe just, you know. Ah, just, gotcha. So I'll reinstate that after I've run the motor yep. and got yep. idling. Uh, just in case there's a vacuum leak somewhere along. But so, so you know that blue lead's got to go, right? Well, that's COVID <laughs> lockdown because I couldn't get a freaking black one. Yeah, I know, right? But um, I will try and get one because the lead I had, I got the black one, but it didn't have a boot. And I thought, there's no way I'm going to be putting my hand up there and adjusting the distributor without that on. Oh, you get a nice shock, right? <laughs> yeah, especially with that little kicker. Yeah. So, yeah, no, all ready to rock and roll. So, I set the timing at uh, four degrees before top dead centre. From when I was winding up the fuel on that, right, right, right. On the yep, yep. Um, I'll reinstate more advance as the tune comes up because you don't want it running advanced and running lean. <laughs> oh, there, there, yeah, yeah so you have all sorts of problems. I talked to Rod, the guy who supplied with the motor, very nice guy to deal with, very, very um, uh, full of information and tell me everything about it. He's really good. I've been ringing him up even on a Sunday, he's been answering the phone. Oh, cool, yeah, awesome. I say, Rod, I've got this issue, what do I do? Yep, and he's been going through it. So I've got to go around three times and do all the idles. He's got it right. one at a time. One now, time with the time. bumper bar, is everything one. is everything cleared with all that? Like, obviously, the bumper bar. To try that. Yes, because yeah, yeah. I'm. I can do that while you're here now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at that, going, hmm, it's not going to clear. Well, I reckon it will. Yeah. I reckon it will. I mean, obviously, we're going to run. Hot. We're going to run this because I think it just looks really just cool. Looks retro. Oh, right? it's so good. I mean, drag it on the ground like that. That's fantastic. Two mufflers, but see, did you see the volume? Oh, the volume's on yeah, there. Yeah, it, it, it did. It snuck it right down. De definitely. Uh, so interesting. When you were running it, that wheel was spinning. This one wasn't. Yeah, that's, that's, that's yeah. Goes. It's just if you put it in gear, I might have knocked it in gear. I don't know. Oh, no, I think it's just the free, yeah, just the free yeah, brain free. neutral that so it does it. So that's the one that was leaking too. Yeah, cool. So yeah, I went round with the um, the polyurethane around that lip and finally got it after cleaning the thing without having to take the boot off. Yeah, so we but had that will be something in time. That was that was the gearbox um, uh, leak just on one of those little shims underneath it. So so three minute. Um, so how many more cycles now? I've got one left. One more cycle? So done, that's the fourth. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. So 15 minutes he reckons. Three five-minute cycles, but it doesn't matter how many times you do it. 
Right. So instead of it getting hot, I thought it was just, just get the temperature up, kill it. Temperature up, temperature up. So I suppose next thing, obviously clean all the top of that off, <laughs> if you're going to go for it. Well, I want to put all the bits in the car first, and I'll take it for spin, yeah. Yeah, well, that's right, because next... Uh, next, next is what, what I do under the dash. That's make right. Make sure all the wires are done. What, make sure everything's working in here. Yeah, go for it now. And then... Uh, we have got... Uh, I something. There's your fan. Oh, cool. Yeah, we have got wipers. Yeah. We have got lights. And oh. dimmable, look at the LED colour. Let's have a look at the front here. Headlights. Uh, headlights, yep. That's low beam. That's high beam. We've got blinky thing. Oh, yeah, blinkers. Yes. We've got brake lights. Oh, we've got to check the back ones because everyone knows uh, we've got these U Butte custom dynamic LEDs on here. So we got wow, look how bright that is. That's rails. crazy. Yeah. And brakes, yeah. Look at that. That's great. <laughs> And we've got a reversing light now too because of the Superbug gearbox. Ah, so what, how does that work? Well, the Superbug gearbox has got a reversing switch in it. So, so when you put it in a reverse, which ones will light up? The one that you're going to find me on eBay. Ah, yes, the clear <laughs> one. Right. Yeah, yeah, okay. Otherwise, it's going to be LEDs hidden somewhere. I have to find him one. I'll, I'll get onto that. <laughs> and you can you see the blue lights? You probably can't. The gauge, mm. you can't see it from there. No, let's have a look. So just put a bit of the... Oh, uh, <laughs> look. <laughs> just, just for an air of difference. Yeah. Catch up. That, it's, it's an add-on, it's not standard. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I like it. I thought you might like that because you're... Yeah, that, that sort of is... Oh, right? yeah, I love my custom and stuff. And we have a horn. Ah. Oh, did you hear yeah. that yet? Yeah. Wow. Like a noisy thing. There you go. So all the electricals are working. Yeah. Even the interior light. So realistically now, you can... Uh, oh, yep. Yeah. Like, with the, the old clothes. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say, you can swap, switch no, no. that. It, mm, it. Doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah it, it, goes how with many, the, it goes with the wall. That's right. <laughs> that means pretty much now you can start putting in the uh, parcel shelf and the bracket for yeah, the... I was going to ask a question. That, what's the best way to go about it? Yeah, like, so... Well, make sure all your, your wires are tucked Where up. Do I and, put this thing on? Do I put that on for the parcel shelf, after the parcel shelf? You put it on now and just slide it down to here. Oh, okay. And then put the parcel shelf in and then slide this back up and then it bolts underneath on those okay. points under there. And the parcel shelf, you can see there, it goes on that little section. Oh, okay. Do I have to take the, the speedo cable's got a head on it? Right? Yes, you do. Do I have to take that out completely yep. of the wheel? No, again? no, no. Unscrew it off the back of the speedo oh, and, and should, then it, the and, and it just goes through the it hole. Looks bigger, it looks bigger than the hole in the shelf. That's well, I made mine bigger because they, <laughs> I, I was yeah. like, well, there's no other way to do it. Because the original one, you can see it's got to go through. It's yeah. much bigger than that. Yeah. Well... Either that, or pull the cable out, or you pull the cable out of the wheel and thread it through this way, which is obviously what they did at the factory. So that's yeah, a bit of mucking around. And then the seat, and then the kids want to go for a drive. Yeah. So that's... Millie arced it up the first time. Yeah. And she's just like, wow. And then Lockie came oh, out next time. Wow. He sent you the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's going. And then um, I've ordered the hoops, like I said. Oh yes, for the for the telescopic, so I can raise it up, and, and then I uh, and then I can copy them off yours. That's what I thought. <laughs> no, that's, that's exactly what I thought. Yeah, yeah. So um, what we're talking about, guys, is the the hoops that have the canvas uh, canopy on the back. They yeah. bolt onto here. There's a RHS hoop. It's actually um, a channel the one they've got. So, but what I want to do is make it RHS and have the section telescopic, so I can raise the midsection up. Right. So we can. Yes. Yes. It, right? have, have it as a marquee. Have it exactly. have, have, have marquee. It. Absolutely. And then we put the yes. Then we uh, yeah we camping. we haven't told the viewers at home that we're we're going to use both of the single cabs uh, to to uh, band gigs and we're going to have a stage a fold out stage on top of them that that uh, we can put all the equipment on. That's the theory. Have them ha, ha, well, well we'll see what happens with COVID might have another idea but we'll see. And then maybe one day put a Tesla wall inside. You. Yeah, you never know. So, interesting plates. Interesting story about these plates. Oh what? How much did you say 12, they were? Twelve thousand Australian to replace those. Twelve. Twelve thousand Australian dollars. With those, just that number, the original reg number, but it will be Victorian. Wow. So, 12, yeah. 000. I had to ring them up and ask, and I said, yeah, that's 12,000. Well, we... If you go for one less digit, it's another 10,000 or whatever it was. I hung in 100,000 for three digits or something. Well, well we, we better order five of them then, oh, right? because the Beatles going to <laughs> Crazy. What? That, is, that is crazy. I think only very rich people will so want to do that. So, the the doctored rust is actually coming up quite well. Ah, oh, yes, the, look the at that. fake rust. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's looking really cool. So, fake rust, real rust. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. 
Just for that definition. There's, there's uh, the, the, the front end, guys, has really, really started, if you have a look. I'll raise it up and show them with all the... Uh, you can have a look here. Up. All this, you know, real rust, fake rust, fake rust. Real panel, real steel. It's pretty, steel. it's pretty amazing. Yeah, no, it's come up, come up fantastic. I'll show you. Ironing out all the little uh, bugs. Yeah, that was fun. I'm looking for all the great nose leads. Yeah. I know I haven't got the wrong socket yet. I will. Alright. Okay. So we have got. Oh, yeah. Thermo fans in play. Oh, yeah, no. I no, want so to go and check this out, guys. Thermo so fan cooler with relay. Right. So the relay is arced up by a thermo sensor in the fuel, in the I've tapped the top of the oil filter right. with a the thermostat, which just goes in the little brass thermostat, goes in there, trips that, that's wired off the um, ignition side to the battery, so battery feed for the main power, then the ignition for the solenoid to actuate. Yep. And that's pretty much that with the, um, yeah, just to be plumbed in. Yep, so the thermo fan sits behind the back of... Uh... Yeah, behind the that. radiator there. And we'll see uh, that that we're going to change out, aren't we? Eventually. The, the yeah, that's filter. just temporary to get the AMR. Yeah, yeah. It's just so I can start it. Yep. Yeah, so we're going to put crap in it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly right. I, I, I actually like where you put the um, the filter. That's a great spot. Tucked I think it out. I've seen it off somewhere else. Yeah, but so it tucks the heights right. Yeah, it's perfect. It's easy access. Out of the way. Out of the way. Yeah, I like yeah, it. Yeah. And it's close enough to the motor without being in trouble because it's on the way to the cooler. Yep. So. Hot oil comes in straight through the filter, goes through the filter to the cooler, cooler back. Yeah. No, fantastic. Oh, this is good. Oh, well, I reckon uh, one of the next updates will be a drive feel, around feel, the... Feel, feel the heat. Cold. Feel this one. That's oh, a difference from wow. running a lean carby. Yeah, there you go. Cold, can't, can't even feel the heat in it, but no. it's warm. So, yeah, yeah that's, that's running lean on that bank. Yep, yep. So, yeah, can't have that. The no. Die in no time. Yeah, it will, won't it? Yeah. So short burst, get the temperature up, then drop it off. So I've noticed that my heater cables are not easy to move, so I'm gonna have to take the little thing out the front there and start it up again. You know, the little, the, the dialing switch. Oh, they're jammed yeah, up. It seems like it's jammed, like sand or something. I don't know. Uh, it could be. Yeah. Yeah. So there yeah. you go. Yeah, so there you go. So all my sand, that's your reversing light hanging off your head. Oh, righto, yep. You've got, to, you've got to get that plumbed up to the... Yep. To, to, to the light that's going to come into. Yep. He's off doing domestic chores, guys. Yay. And we are going to say uh, adios for today's uh, episode. It's only a quick one, but, you know, I just wanted to give you guys a, a quick update of the motor. And uh, happy days. I think the next one will be around the paddock over there, doing a little bit of a test drive. So that'll be uh, fun, joy and happiness for everybody. So, we will catch you in the next video. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Hit the button or I'm coming to your house and slapping you on the backside. Do it. Alright, cheers.